Strider port. It's overrun by scars. Now that you're closer, I can use your javelin to better triangulate Andrew's position. Got it! Head into the compound. Signal is stronger there. Won't be that easy. Compound has heavy defenses. Then I guess you've got to get through them. Working on it. Nothing yet. I don't... You should be right on top of him. They must be hiding him. Take out those hives.
lost Hive. Now for the stars. Strongest ratings yet. Andrew's got to be in here. This many scars must be guarding something.
Bryn, can you track that Iskari? There is a strange energy signal near you. Let's get this thing. Agreed. The last thing we need is a chatty Iskari leader with plans for the fort.
Hello again, Meralda. Hi, freelancer. <laughs> Don't worry, I know who you are. How are you doing? A little better each day. I'm glad to hear it. It was rough going for a bit. You were I'm flattered. It's true. I can see why, but it's good to see you're moving on. My mother always said I was too stubborn. I finally let myself grieve. That's important. A lot of crap. Must feel like a weight has lifted. I won't lie. Looking at you now, when you walk by, well... I'm sorry. Didn't mean to cause trouble. Oh, it's not your fault. It's made me realize I need a change of scenery. Maybe even start painting again. Sounds like a great idea. I thought so. Take care. Have you heard from your brother? He went out yesterday to cut a deal with Zim's people on some new javelin steels. Great timing. I've been thinking about shaper relics. Where's this heading? All that shaper and we really need more. Should I just warm up my- <sighs> Well, if you have time to stop- Hey, Bren. Hmm? Oh, freelancer. Hello. Everything okay? You seem preoccupied lately. It's not like you. What? Yes. No, just distracted. Talk to me, Bryn. I'm here to help. Okay. I'm... Uh, I'm writing... And it looks like it's troubling you. I'm writing stories. Uh, what? No, oh, for the love of all Gazics. I'm... Have you ever heard of the Crimson Lancer? The radio show? It's one of Halleck's favorites. You know it? Who's your favorite character? Wait, forget I asked. I don't want to ruin this already tenuous friendship. So what does this have to do with your writing? Sometimes the show just doesn't go the way it's supposed to. When my brain needs a rest from my work, I rewrite the show, myself, so it's better. But why not just add to it? Why change it? I suppose. Things can't always go the way I want them to, here or in the field. But when I rewrite the shows, everything goes exactly according to plan. My plan. Does anyone else ever read it? My work is very well received. By whom exactly? I have no idea. I post them on a board downstairs under a different name. I get the most appreciative letters from Crimson Dancer 69. You've got to let me see them. They sound excellent. If you find the board, you too can send feedback. Unless you think Anson dating Kista is a good idea, then I don't want to hear it. Hey, you remember Karila and the package and how I accidentally killed that guy and you told me to get rid of the evidence? Yeah. So, I went back to my place, but I couldn't open the door knowing there was a dead guy inside. So you know what I did? No idea. Nothing. I just stood there, paralyzed. Then, Karila showed up. When she saw the body, I think she felt bad, because she said, I feel bad, Amol. I'm gonna fix this. Then she told me to lock the door and wait. Before I knew it, she was back with two scary-looking people. Karila took me for a walk, and when we came back, the dead guy was gone, and my place was sparkling clean. Karila said, I owe you, Amal. Then gives me the sweetest kiss of my entire life. I just hope she got her share of the ember. The package was filled with ember? It's crazy what people will do for Ember, huh? But now she's gone. Her place is empty, and I have no idea where she is. She's a dangerous person. Maybe it's best she's out of your life. Yeah, I guess she did kill that guy. 
but he was gonna kill me. But she did try to give me the package. She was a lot of trouble. I'm sure gonna miss her. Heard you passed the trials of the Legion of Dawn, then lost the General's javelins. Pass standardized testing for you. Leighton, how are things? Do we know each other? Uh, I'm a freelancer. We spoke before. You told me you defected from... Of course, of course. I'm sorry, I remember now. My wife wants me to make new friends. Not doing a good job of it, am I? You okay? I don't think so. No, there's a fog. Too much time thinking about the past. It might help if you talk about it instead. I was a different man back then. Your opinion of me, it will change. I won't lie, I could. But I've seen my share of rough stuff in the world. Try me. I was a Dominion cipher. A surveillance tool of the state, directed against our own people. I tracked their movements, their plans, their sedition. I was very good at this. I was the unseen hand keeping the flock in line. When I caught one straying, they died. Many strayed. That couldn't have been easy. Easier than what came next. I also had physical talents, strength, agility, marksmanship. The Dominion put these to use. I was sent abroad on missions. I hunted enemy ciphers, then mentally tortured them to extract information. They begged me to end their agony, which I did, putting a bullet in the source of their pain, their skull. There were so many of them, I lost track. So, what do you think of me now, freelancer? I'll give you credit for being honest. That was some seriously unvarnished truth. A truth that I can't seem to reconcile with myself. I did those things. I can see why your wife is concerned about you. More than anything, I want to be the man she thinks I can be. The other day, I helped a woman and her boy churn some butter. It was simple. It was real. It's the life I want. What's holding you back? The memories don't just vanish. Your wife mentioned that you've been talking to yourself? The curse of being a cipher. It's... It's all a jumble. A single word could lead to a memory, and then another I thought I'd forgotten. When I'm thinking, I don't realize it's out loud sometimes. What's bothering you? A name. A woman. Aurora. It keeps repeating. She was... Damn headache. I... I can't remember. It's okay, if it's too painful. Aurora is expendable. Collateral damage is acceptable. The state has decided. The state has decreed. What? I... I, I don't know. It's a memory. I, I don't know who she was or what I did, but I can feel it. Whatever happened with her, I think it's tearing you apart. <laughs> can I ever be whole again? Talk to your wife. Nadira could help. She's worried about you. No, the shame. I, not until I understand this. I need some time to think. I understand. 